You are listening to the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast with Amanda Carlstad, episode number 248. Welcome to the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast, a show for coaches who are ready to up-level their business and take their impact, leadership, and results to a million dollar level and beyond. If you're ready to break through your limitations and start taking powerful action and become the seven-figure version of you that your business needs in order to grow, scale, and thrive, this show is for you. I'm your host, Amanda Carlstad, master coach, high-level business mentor and advisor, master intuitive, and business growth and scaling expert. Let's get down to business. Hello and welcome to the show, everyone. So good to have you here. For those of you that are new to the podcast, welcome. And for all of my loyal listeners, welcome, welcome. I always like to give a little bit of what's happening behind the scenes in my programs because I have to say, one of my goals in my own business is to really create a container and a community of coaches that are the most successful coaches in the industry. And I have to tell you all, it is happening. And so in my high-level mastermind and also in my foundational business accelerator program, the mastermind, we have so many exciting things happening, so many amazing wins from my clients. And It's just so fun to be able to witness this each and every week and to see clients growing and expanding at a really accelerated pace. And so just to give you an example, we had a client who just last week reported that she had created her biggest month in her business to date, and she relaunched her program after making a few tweaks to it for a little bit of context here, someone who recently joined my high-level mastermind just in the last couple of weeks. And so after her initial deep dive session, after this is something that I do with all of my clients where we lay out their strategy for the coming year based on their goals and really look at their business holistically and really put a concrete strategy in place. And so this client, based on where she wanted to grow her business to this year and where she really wanted to go long term, One of the things that we decided to do was to make a few tweaks to her offer, to her business model. And because of that, she was able to then go out and relaunch her program, making these new changes within, really, it was a matter of a couple of weeks. And so last week on our call, she actually reported that she had her biggest month to date in business, which I believe it was around $26,000 in cash in one week that she received in her business and her goal is to grow to 500K this year. And she is on track to do that. It's so, so exciting. So it's so fun to just watch clients like this go out and just take massive action on what we talk about. And within days, and sometimes it takes a little bit longer than days, but sometimes, you know, in a matter of just a few very short months, clients can go from really zero to, you know, creating massive, massive success in their business. And so, you know, we've had clients that have launched new programs that have landed huge contracts, contracts of $60,000 and more. We've had other clients selling brand new programs, selling their offers at the highest price points that they've ever offered. And so there's just so many wins all the way around. And I think it really speaks to the power of being in a mastermind, the power of being in a high-level container that not only incorporates high-level coaching, but also high-level strategy and also has a really supportive community around it. And so it's something that I'm really proud of. And like I said, it was one of my goals when I started my business was to create this community of the most successful coaches in the industry, and it is happening and it is so much fun. So I have to tell you, if you're listening to this podcast, chances are you're a coach. And I'm really honest when I say this, I believe that if you're a coach and if you have a desire to make a big impact and you want to serve at the highest level, and you also want to make a ton of money while you're doing this, then you need to be in one of these containers because the level of coaching and the level of strategy, the level that we play in, in these containers, we play to win. 
And that's really important. So I would highly encourage you, if you're in a place where you know you need support, to help you go to the next level. I want to invite you to click on the link in the show notes and apply. I'd love to have a conversation and to see if you're a fit. And we'd love to help you hit that six, multiple six, seven figure mark and beyond. I truly guarantee that it can change everything for you. All right. Today, I want to talk to you all about a concept that I developed and I've been thinking a lot about recently, and that is your capacity for growth. And I feel like I have so much to say on this topic as I've been thinking about today's episode and bringing this conversation to all of you today. I truly believe that this is one of the most important concepts to really think about and to more than think about to actually put into practice as a coach and as an entrepreneur. And I believe that in your ability to create success in your business is your capacity to grow. And specifically in the ways that you're going to be required to grow based on your goals. So let me give you an example. Many of you listening have a goal to create a coaching business that generates six, multiple six, seven figures and beyond, even eight figures in revenue per year. And many of you listening have that goal to do that in the next, let's say, you know, three to five years, which I think is great. And I have to tell you, you're in the right place because this is what I teach. And it's something that I'm continuously focused on with my clients. And it's something that I'm continuously coaching my clients on. And so I want to tell you that if you have a goal like that, that it's going to require that certain things are in play in your business. It's going to require that you have things in place like an irresistible offer. It's going to require that you have things that you are selling and that you have the ability to sell. It's going to require that you sell your irresistible offer. It's going to require that you know how to market your offer. It's going to require that you cultivate a level of belief in yourself because there's nothing more important in this journey than being able to become the leader that your business needs. So building your belief in yourself, in your program, in what you're offering to grow your business to that level, there are so many things that will come up when you're in the process of taking your business to that level. And these things are going to require that you grow. They're going to require that you grow as a person, that you grow as a business owner, that you grow in terms of your skill level as it relates to, for instance, online marketing, that you grow in your belief, that you grow in terms of what you think is possible for you. There are so many areas when I'm working with my clients and when I observe the industry in general that require you to grow in this process. Now, here's the thing. Growth, any growth that we experience and the capacity for growth is something that takes intention. It's not something that will just happen. It's something that you have to be cognizant of. It's something that you have to be in pursuit of in the journey. And I will tell you, growth does not feel good. Growth usually feels terrible. So whether that's learning new skills in terms of marketing or learning new skills in terms of sales or learning new skills in terms of how to craft your messaging in a way that actually resonates with your audience or maybe learning the most effective strategies on how to build your business and your ecosystem and be able to do it in a way that's sustainable. 
When you are moving into new levels of business, it requires you to let go of old identities, to let go of old ways of being, to let go of old belief systems. And I have to tell you, this is many times the most difficult work to do because every step along the journey in some way is going to require new capacity for growth. And to the degree that you're able to hold that and to grow that capacity and expand beyond your current capacity is what will determine the level of growth and how quickly that growth happens. So being able to intentionally develop more capacity for growth, as I've experienced, as I have observed, is one of the most powerful differentiators between those that create the level of success that they want and those that don't. It's how willing are you to be in the discomfort of growth? It's how willing are you to take full ownership for your business results? It's how willing are are you to learn and develop the skills that are necessary to grow a business to a million dollar level? These are really important questions. And I'd really encourage all of you to answer these for yourselves. Because what I will tell you is that the difference between a coach who is making six, multiple six, seven figures or more in their business is directly correlated with the level of growth that they have been willing to go through, both on a personal level to not only overcome the limiting beliefs that have been holding them back, but to overcome the old identities that are likely keeping them stuck, to overcome the idea of what they think is truly possible for them, to be able to energetically hold these new levels of success, to be able to lead themselves at the highest level, which then allows them to lead others, to growing their capacity in terms of their business acumen, meaning it's about being willing to be a beginner when needed and to learn how to do the things that matter. Learning how to do things like effectively marketing the business, how to best position offers, how to create a foundation in the business that will actually support the level of growth that they desire. You know, I see a lot of coaches right now that are trying to build successful businesses without a strong foundation. So I feel very strongly about this because that foundation is what is required to support the growth to that million dollar level, to that $5 million level, to that $10 million level and beyond. So things like learning how to sell at a high level, it really doesn't matter what type of background you have. In fact, I was just having this conversation recently with a client of mine who I was sharing that when I think about my own experience coming into this industry, even with a master's degree, even with an MBA, even after coaching for two decades, day in and day out, even after building an almost two decade career in startups, having built several organizations to the $20 million level, to the $50 million level, to literally the $100 million level and beyond. After all of this for me, there was a huge learning curve that I still had to go through, that I had to learn how to operate in this online space, that I had to learn how to translate my knowledge and be willing to be a beginner again and to start from ground zero and to also be willing to build my capacity for growth along the way, to learn and relearn things that my business needed me to learn for me to dig into and to face the deepest, darkest fears that I've had to face and overcome so many limiting beliefs to challenge myself to be better and to be great in so many areas to learn how to regulate my emotions and become more emotionally mature to 
grow my business knowledge, to be working on my own skill and continually be sharpening my own saw as a coach. It was so important for me to continually, and even today, to be asking myself, how am I creating this result and taking full ownership of that? And I have to tell you, this is an ongoing process. It's an ongoing question that I am asking myself all the time. And I will tell you, it's also required if you want to build a successful business. So it starts with understanding that this process, this journey of growing and scaling a business will require new capacity for growth. And this is not to say that you're going to be an expert in everything overnight. It's understanding that when you are in this for the long game, and I've talked a lot about this before, it's really important, in my opinion, to be in this for the long game. And that is the approach that I've taken with my own business. It's something that I work with all of my clients on as well. And in order to do that, you have to have a capacity for growth. You have to be willing to learn, be willing to do what it takes, be willing to learn and do the things for as long as it does take, even when it's not in the timeline that you originally thought, even if that means your goal isn't happening as quickly as you thought. You have to be willing to continually have and develop that capacity for growth. So my question to all of you today is this, where right now are you resisting the process of growth in your business? Where right now are your results not yet where you want them to be? Where are you looking outside of yourself? Where might you be placing blame on external circumstances? Where might you not be looking at how you've created the result that you have? And I know this is a tough question for some of you to answer, but I also think it's one of the most important questions you can answer. And here is what I want to leave you with. All of you listening have the ability right now in this moment to choose growth, to choose to build your capacity for growth, to choose to be okay with being in a place that doesn't feel great, that requires you to take a higher level of ownership, that requires you to grow your skills in an area that you might not want to grow your skills in, that requires you to be in the discomfort of transforming into the next version of yourself. And it always first starts with a decision and then following up that decision with committed and consistent action and owning that you have the ability to create whatever results that you do want in your business. And that happens every single day by being willing to build your capacity for growth and not resisting it, but leaning into it and accepting it and taking full responsibility for the level of capacity that you have. All right, everyone, have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast. If you're ready to step into the million dollar version of yourself and scale your business to six, multi-six, or seven figures and beyond, go to amandacarlstadcoaching.com. Coaching.com.